All right, let's take care of uh, part B. We have sine hyperbolic x divided by x. And what I want to do now is to go back to uh, uh, the definitions of hyperbolic uh, functions and, 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 and read out the definition of sine hyperbolic x. And that's the very first uh, formula over there, e to the x minus e to the minus x over 2. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and then uh, type that in here. So here we go. So this limit is equal to e to the x minus e to the x minus 2, e to the x over 2. That's the definition of sine hyperbolic x. And all divided by x. Okay? You can pretend like you have a rational function in the bottom, so you can flip it over. So you have e to the x minus e to the minus x divided by 2x. Okay, this way, uh, it's easier to handle uh, because as x approaches negative infinity, so this one pretends like e to the minus infinity, but you can write it as a reciprocal uh, of like uh, e to the infinity. Right, that term tends to zero. Okay, again, this is something I'm writing here, but this is something you do in your brain. Okay, so this one is more like e to the plus infinity, and in fact, that's gonna be the term making the top blowing up to uh, infinity. So zero minus infinity is just infinity. Okay, so it's very big, and the bottom is still infinity, right? So this is also minus infinity. So at the end of the day, you run into uh, you run into infinity over uh, infinity over uh, infinity type indeterminate form. Okay. So what we do in this case, the the shortcut is to uh, utilize the L'Hopital's rule. Let's see if it's going to work. So the derivative of the top is e to the x, and uh, the derivative of e to the minus x is minus e to the minus x by using the chain rule. That makes the whole thing plus, and you have two in the bottom. Okay, that's good news because the bottom is constant now, and e to do well. By the way, this is minus infinity, right? This is minus infinity. So by using the same logic that we had at the top over there, right? So you have this term approaching zero and this term approaching infinity. Okay. So what happens is that the top takes you to uh, infinity and the bottom is just constant. So this whole integral takes you to, whole uh, limit, I'm sorry, uh, takes you to infinity, which is, uh, which is the end of uh, this discussion here, okay? As a side work, after you understand this whole story here as a side work, uh, what I would do is considering uh, the same uh, problem for uh, the, 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 the same uh, uh, function that you're trying to find a limit for, but this time I would make uh, this to be zero, okay? What happens, in other words, like uh, as a brand new problem for you to work on after you're done with this video, uh, sine hyperbolic x divided by x, okay? So check this out, please, and, and, and see what this limit uh, could be. And we're going to use the same idea here uh, that, you know, you're just uh, writing everything in terms of exponentials like the way we did. Okay, up here, everything is the same. Okay. But this time, it's going to be zero here. Okay. And check what kind of uh, limit you get. But this is a side work. Uh, uh, please do it by yourself. And uh, I think that takes care of uh, everything uh, in part A and part B for this exercise. And we're done. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye.